In 2023, you can now open drawings directly from the feature manager tree. You can also open drawings directly from items inside of a bill of material. So a simple right click and open drawing will open that component in its own window. Also, from any assembly view, you can now right click and open the drawing of any component inside of that assembly. So in SOLIDWORKS 2023, you now have more ways to be able to get access to your SOLIDWORKS drawings along with all of your assemblies and parts from years past. Let's now open up a drawing that has a bill of material on it. We're going to zoom in to the bottom of the bill of material and we're going to take a look at the empty cell here and we're going to add a modified item. So for item number 15, we're going to add lithium grease as an item in our bill of material. We're going to tab through the different columns and make any necessary changes needed to update this bill of material. Now what if you would like to see all the modified items in your bill of material? Well, in SOLIDWORKS 2023, that is now an option. So by simply going to your system options, going to colors, and then scrolling down to the drawings and modified sales, you can now change that color to red, or we're going to change it to red in this case. Then by simply highlighting the bill of material, it's going to highlight the values to red. We can also take this quantity and in 2023, we can revert it back to its previous value before it was manually modified. We're now going to take these items and we're going to insert our balloons. In SOLIDWORKS 2023, we now have easy access to add the quantity to our balloons. So here we simply can change all the settings that we need and our quantities are easily added to all of our balloons. After a little bit of cleanup, you're going to see here that we have a couple of balloons that have a quantity of one. So technically we don't need the quantity on those. So we'll highlight those individually and just turn off the quantity giving you complete control over all the quantity items for each balloon in your bill of material. Let's switch over to tab two now. So here we can take a look at this huge bill of material. We have too much, so we want to kind of filter this thing down. So in SOLIDWORKS 2023, we now have filter options inside of all the columns in a bill of material. So here you can see we filtered the maturity down to in work. We'll clear that one. Let's go take a look at part number. So here we can do a conditional filter. Maybe I want to search for everything that starts with a 250. Or maybe I want to do some and or statements to do some really complicated conditional selection. So you can now do that inside of a drawing in SOLIDWORKS 2023. But what if I wanted to filter this down to maybe something like a purchased bill of material? Well, from here, I can take our source and I can filter it down to buy. And then I can also filter our hardware components down to just a yes to just see those components. You'll also notice that in our drawing view, it's also filtered down the balloons to only the things that are visible in our current bill of material. Let's now open up another drawing and let's take a look at this pressure gauge. So you guys know what pressure gauges look like. There's typically a gauge underneath a piece of glass. But here we don't have our glass that's transparent. So we're going to open up the assembly and then let's tile these two together and let's see what we can do as far as making that item transparent. So with these two tiled side by side, I'm going to go to the assembly and I'm going to take that piece of glass and I'm going to mark it transparent. So then inside of SOLIDWORKS 2023, I can select a drawing view and I can now set an option that says see through transparent components to allow me to see through that. That's just for this view. However, in 2023, there is now a document property that allows you to set that globally for that document. So by making that change, any additional views that I add into my drawing in SOLIDWORKS 2023 will automatically have that transparency set.